These four black female pilots were first in the military. The first ever black female pilot to fly for any service, the first black female flying for the Georgia Air National Guard, the Navy's first black female pilot, and the Air Force's first black female fighter pilot to fly combat in a major war. They are still rare. Of the nation's 44,000 military pilots, only 72 are black women. Here's their advice on how to change that. I, I tell people often, um, the, to the people that I mentor, that they have to take an initial step. Uh, so even if you think, you can't think so much about, oh, I can never fly this 707 or this, you know, 777 aircraft or what, you know, large airplane. You have to think about, well, what can I do today that's going to help me take that next step? I got a chance to talk and encourage kids in the high school and the middle schools, or the three different high schools and uh, two different middle schools and an elementary school. And that was planting the seed for the young ladies that were there, regardless of ethnicity, but just in general, and specifically because they could look and see that I was an African-American woman that, you know, it gives hope. The more numbers, the more times that they see me, then the more times that I think they see the possibility and then um, perhaps that encourages the numbers to increase from, from planting that seed of possibility in their minds. I love being a pilot. Um, you know, I think the best part of my job isn't, isn't flying. It's actually being able to have these conversations and to be able to, you know, mentor young girls and or people in general. Um, and for some, you know, they, they think, they think, so uh so much of me which is great but i tell them i say you know it's i'm you you know <laughs> like it's uh you know we're we're all here to, to to help each other out confident makes you popular and confident also uh, disarms people uh and they don't know what to expect so they don't actually treat you with disrespect. If you look like you are an easy target, they will treat you like an easy target. That is just human nature. It can at times um, be lonely to be the only person, um, you know, in your squadron and in your unit that is different and to stand out. Um, and, and sometimes that can be difficult because you just want to fit in and you, you want to blend in. You cannot go through flight school alone. You can't go through civilian flight school alone and definitely you can't go through, through military flight school alone. It's very easy to wash out and nobody even knows that you're there, which I, I like to change that. I'd like to see that, that change, you know, just mentors. That's all it takes. Every time I met someone different, it was always a check ride. It was a mental check ride. Does she, is she, you know, why is she here? Does, is she um, any half as good as these other guys that I've been flying with for years. And uh, this, this followed me from the Navy all the way through the airlines. There's always a brick wall. We all have to make a decision. Are we going to fight our way through it? Are we going to cut and run? So cut and run doesn't, doesn't work. So put on your confident face, you know, and I teach them how to do that. I said, and then blast right through it. when someone's going through, you do want to make sure that whoever they're flying with, that they're even, that they're above board, that they don't have their own social stigma, that they're going to try to push somebody out, you know, and you know, if you're a leader, you know, you can tell where folks are coming from. And the command climate is what makes the difference. It's a difficult road. Um, however, it's worth it. But I, I do remember having, you know, that first, you know, five hours in a Cessna 172, just floating along, you know, <laughs> and, and now I'm flying jets.